I'm AJ. <laughs> I'm Simon. I'm Peter. This is a sample of bentonite powder. Bentonite is primarily composed of montmorillonite clay materials. These minerals are thin clayey particle structures as seen in this SEM image. They are highly plastic and expansive, and they typically cause problems with road foundations and building foundations. These are the two samples from before, prior to being lit on fire. The sample on the right was mixed with ordinary water, a polar liquid, while the sample on the left was mixed with lighter fluid, a nonpolar liquid, which also explains why it was able to burst into flames. The sample with lighter fluid is far less viscous than the sample mixed with water. This demonstrates how soil properties are dependent upon the liquid in which they are mixed. This is the fabrication of the 2x2 two two samples using the ISU compaction method. This is a 2x2 two two sample during the unconfined compression test. From this, we measured the peak load to obtain the undrained shear strength. This is a plot of the dry density and unconfined compressive strength versus cation concentration. The dry density continually increases with increasing cation concentration, and the unconfined compressive strength takes a small dip, but then increases and levels out at about 14 psi. In addition to unconfined compression testing, we completed Atterberg's limits testing for samples of bentonite at various cation concentrations in accordance with ASTM D4318. As you can see from the plot, liquid limit decreases rapidly as cation concentration increases. Since the liquid limit is really a measure of shear strength, the decrease in liquid limit is really just a decrease in shear strength, which is attributed to the formation of a more dispersed soil structure caused by the high concentration of cations Plastic limit, however, is independent of cation concentration. Here's how we prepared a sample. We soaked the two by two samples and the volume doubled after two weeks as you can see and it gives a very low shear strength. Here are the results from our volumetric expansion test. The salt water soak samples experienced less volume change with increasing salt concentration. The samples soaked with distilled water did not show a clear trend. The samples soaked in distilled water, however, are more affected by the diffusion of cations from high concentration in the sample to low concentration in the distilled water. So to sum everything up, greater con cation concentrations will result in greater particle dispersion as well as a thinner diffused double layer also known as the DDL. Greater dispersion will reduce the shear strength of soil, reduce its plasticity, but increase dry density. The thinner DDL will actually decrease swelling of bentonite clay. That's all, folks. <laughs>